you should value a positive attitude before skills at work. I'm going to explain why this is so important as an employee and as a manager thinking about who to promote and who to recruit. Most people find it a real pleasure to work alongside individuals that have a positive attitude, that look at life through a glass half full lens. Employees with a positive attitude at work are more likely to firstly have better relationships with colleagues, secondly be, be better, more effective team players, third be keen to learn and accept change, fourth have a more resilient character, plus plenty more. Those with positive attitudes are more effective at building relationships, all else being equal, and therefore are more likely to be effective in their jobs. Even more important is that those with a positive attitude contribute to the positive team culture, which helps everyone in the team be more effective in their jobs. Today we're covering firstly five signs of a positive attitude in the workplace that you should look out for. Secondly, why team members with positive attitudes are much more likely to be promoted. Third, positive attitudes create positive team cultures, which in turn increases team results and performance. And fourth, recruiting, why a positive attitude is more important than skills. Most of us know what a positive attitude in another person looks and feels like when we work alongside them. Here are five good signs of a positive attitude in the workplace that you should look for. People with a positive attitude are usually optimistic. They look at the world and see good things, opportunities and possibilities. This positive attitude helps increase their resilience when things don't work out. They are more likely to pick themselves up and try again. This makes them more successful over time. Employees with a positive attitude often have a lot more energy. They often do a lot with their day, work at higher speeds and produce more. You know, look for lots of activities inside and outside of work to spot those with high energy. Employees with a positive attitude in the workplace use positive language, lift up those around them, praise colleagues, say thank you for help given and make it a pleasure to work with them. Encourage more of the team to follow their example. Fourth, team members with positive attitudes are keener to learn and embrace change. All workplaces change over time and so these staff are more likely to be valuable to the team for longer. Fifth, positive people build relationships more quickly, which in turn increases teamwork and coordination, which in turn increases team results. There are always exceptions to the above five points. I always value team members with a positive attitude in my team because they contributed a lot more to having a positive, fun and can-do team culture. Create a positive team culture and you should get better team performance. Always value a positive attitude before skills at work. Secondly, why team members with positive attitudes are more likely to be promoted. People like working with positive can-do colleagues. Your positivity makes working life more enjoyable for everyone around them. People who are positive are more likely to be liked by colleagues and customers. Positive people are probably more likely to learn and try new things. When managers are considering people for promotion, those that have a positive attitude and approach are much more likely to get the promotion than colleagues that are negative, complain a lot, etc. Work on your attitude. Work at being a stronger team player. Help those around you when you have the opportunity. Pass on your skills and knowledge to others. Help your boss look good and do a better job. Smile and be a pleasure to work with. Take on new tasks with enthusiasm. There is so much you can do to show that you have a positive, will-do attitude and nine times out of ten you will get rewarded for having this attitude. I suggest you personally value a positive attitude before skills at work. My name is Jess Coles and if you're new here, Enhanced.Training shares people management expertise, resources and courses teaching you how to be a great manager and build high performing teams. I've included links to additional videos and resources in the description below which you will find useful so do take a look at these. And if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Third, positive attitudes create positive team cultures which in turn increase team results. Creating a positive team culture starts with the leader and the decisions, actions and behaviours they take and display. 
the decisions, actions and behaviours of the team members then reinforce and maintain the team culture. The more team members you have displaying a strong positive attitude, the more the team will have a collective positive attitude. A positive team culture should make the team firstly better at problem solving because more problem solving is undertaken as a team rather than left solely to individuals. Second, improve productivity as the team communicates and coordinates activities more effectively. Third, increase the level of teamwork which means more help and support is available to team members. There is more ownership of the team goals and there are more coordination and more reliance on each other all of which drive better team results. Fourth, team members are likely to have greater job satisfaction because they work in an enjoyable environment and enjoy greater personal success. Fifth, the team is likely to be more adaptable and be quick to respond to changing situations and problems in a positive can-do way. And then sixth, increase team resilience as members are more flexible plus keen to learn and respond to change positively. Seventh, better decision making as team members are more likely to use each other's experience, challenge and views to make the best decisions they can in the circumstances. As a manager, work hard to reinforce positive attitudes and behaviours. Praise those for being positive and taking positive actions that help the team be better. Promote those that have a positive attitude towards the team and encourage a positive team culture. Above all, work hard to demonstrate a positive attitude in how you make decisions, take actions and display behaviours in front of your team. Fourth, recruiting. Why a positive attitude is more important than skills. You are able to teach skills when a person is keen and willing to learn. It is much, much harder to improve a person's attitude and disposition. I've heard plenty of stories of managers recruiting very qualified individuals into the team only for that person to display a very poor attitude, cause a ton of disruption in the team, which ultimately led to that person being removed. Recruiting for positive attitude and team fit is the most important aspect to consider in my opinion. A person who fits well into the culture of the team is, firstly, a lot more likely to be successful doing their job as they will get a lot more help and support from colleagues. Second, the employee will stay for longer. They will feel they fit in and their work valued. The longer good employees stay, the lower the cost of running your team. Third, positive employees are much more likely to provide a positive experience to customers. You know, this results in additional work for the company and better customer retention. Plus, there are all the benefits that we've already been through. When recruiting, spend more time in the interviews asking questions that help you understand what the person likes and dislikes, their energy levels, their ambitions, how they approach people in different situations and what their values and character traits are. Even better is to invite them to spend a bit of time working with a team which is a much more likely um, way to bring out their real personality. Focus on recruiting employees with positive attitudes who will lift the team culture upwards. So in summary, recruiting and encouraging positive attitudes in your team will help you build a positive team culture, which is much more likely to result in better team performance, for all the reasons that we've been through today. As an individual, it is completely in your interest to cultivate a positive, can-do attitude, as you are likely to go further and progress faster in your career. Don't allow negative people around you to bring down your positive approach. Keep positive. To quickly recap, why you should value a positive attitude before skills at work include firstly five signs of a positive attitude in the workplace that you should look for. Secondly, why team members with positive attitudes are more likely to be promoted. Third, positive attitudes create positive team cultures which in turn increase team results. And fourth, recruiting, why a positive attitude is more important than skills. If you have any questions on why you should value a positive attitude before skills at work, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Don't forget to visit us at enhance.training and take a look at all the resources and courses to help you be a great manager and build higher performing teams. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.